Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you the four ways that I know to put up your hair with pop sticks. Or actually any object that's shaped up shaped like a stick that has a point at one end. The first three ways are just normal regular buns. And the fourth way is a twist. And it looks really pretty, you'll see. But you could use just about anything to put up your hair. You could use this pretty hair stick. I like it a lot. It reminds me of seashells. And it has a pretty little leaf pattern at the top. Actual chopsticks. You can use a pencil, which is really convenient in class because sometimes you don't have a hairband and you just want to get the hair off your face, and a pencil is perfect because you, you should always have a pencil, right? I hope you have a pencil in class. You can even use knitting needles. Well, not ones with yarn on them, of course. The scarf that I'm making for my mom. But yeah, you can use this. Although this one is 14 inches, so it's really long. Yeah, that's really long. Like, you'd be a walking hazard with this in your hair. Everyone within a one foot radius would probably get whacked in the face. Ah! Bless the soul who gets hit by the pointy end. Let's get started. So, first, put up your, gather all your hair, twist it. And coil it into a bun. And then take your hair stick, put it under a section of hair on the top right of the bun. And this part is optional, but I find that it helps it stay up better and the bun will look better this way. And then take the stick, push it into the right side of the bun. Then Put it under the middle part and stick it, move it up a little and stick it out through the other side. And this is what it looks like. the same. You just twist your hair, coil it into a bun, take your hair stick, so stick it under the bun and do weaving motion. And then just poke it out on the, on the other side of the bun, under it. Gather your hair now. Just take your left hand and then spin it so that your palm is facing the back. Put your palm under the section of hair like this and hold it. Then spin it in and out so that your that your fingers are not touching your head. And if you have long hair, like me, you have extra left over, you can just bring this up so that the fingers hold a piece of hair. Now, take your chopstick, and in the hole where your fingers are, just put the chopsticks in there, spin it around, dig it under the hair, and then stick it out to the other side. This creates a kind of flatter
this fourth layer, you are going to need a longer stick. So the longer stick. And what you're going to do is just loosely gather all your hair at the nape of your neck. Then put the chopstick under the hair and spin it until it's facing up again. And then you're going to just poke the stick back down through the hair. You're a falling star, you're the getaway car, you're the line in the sand when I go too far. You're the swimming pool on an August day, and you're the perfect thing to say. And you play a coat, but it's kind of cute. Oh, when you smile at me, you know exactly what you do. Baby, don't pretend that you don't know it's true. Cause you can see it when I look at you And in this crazy life And through these crazy times It's you, it's you You make me sing your every line your every word your everything That was four ways to put up your hair with any stick object Like a hair stick, pencil chopsticks, even knitting needles, it can be done, and just so do, and, and if you can think of any other objects you can use to put up your hair besides the objects that I mentioned and used, then let me know in the comments. I hope you guys liked it, and thank you for watching. And I can't